already? Yeah. Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. My name is Tevin, Tevin Hinton. I'm going to introduce myself. Um, Hebrew Israelite, love this truth. I am a father. Uh, I am a brother. Um, and yeah, I'm your brother. And come here to, I'm going to spit some very valuable information, some salvation to you. You know, um, this study I will be holding is called Love, Counsel, and Awareness. You know, teaching you the fruits of love. Um, and also the fruits of counsel, how important it is to have counsel. Um, also things to be aware of while you're on this walk, you know, to be able to walk like Christ and things to keep aware of. Um, and once again, I am a Hebrew Israelite. Um, I don't judge people off of the outward Parents, I judge them by their walk and what's inside of them, their spirit. So, um, yeah, let's get started. And we're going to open up this study, the first study, with Romans chapter 12, verse 9. And um, once again, the study is called Love, Counsel, and Awareness. So the first scripture will be about love. Second will be about counsel. Third will be things to be aware of. And then we'll... Cycle back around over and over, repetitive. So, yep, let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse 9. Reads as. All right. Romans chapter 12, verse 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. So I brought that scripture because that is a big part of love. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of the most important meat that you can have <laughs> concerning love. Dissimulation. There is a definition for dissimulation for those who might not know. And I'm going to get it out of my Webster's Dictionary. You can look it up on Google or whatever the case may be. And the definition for dissimulation is to hide under a false appearance. Mm. Dissimulation. So to hide up underneath a false appearance, meaning to have secret things or um, malice hidden in your heart, or you holding a grudge, or you really feel some type of way about somebody, but you hiding it, and you and you pretend to love somebody, you know, I'm a, the scriptures specifically say, love without dissimulation, uh -huh. meaning don't be hiding no malice, or being angry, or being mad, if you have something to say, speak up about it, because that's how you operate under love, you know, um, Second scripture we're going to come out to for counsel is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. So I brought that out, you know. Um, it's very important that we have like-minded people around us. Huh. Very important. Without like-minded people around us, the things that we um, uh, want to do or want to become, nine times out of the ten, if we don't have the right counseling, all those things will come to not, mm -hmm. come to fall. It, if you have wolves around you, people who I'm um, gonna love you with dissimulation, you know, they will make sure all your your holy or um, uh, positive plans will come to not. They will devour you in, in some way. Read that scripture again for me. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. So if you have a multitude of counselors who are like-minded like you, positive like you, they will uplift you. They will establish your very thoughts. God. Very important. Shalom. 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 Um, next scripture would be, let me see, Proverbs 27, yeah. see. Proverbs 27, yep, oh, let me change five in my notes, one, uh, yep, Proverbs 27, five through six, Proverbs, and this, yes, oh, okay. and this is something to be aware of, so while we are um, uh, practicing and walking in love, and 
and working on ourselves to love without dissimulation and um, uh, keeping those positive people around us, right? These are things to be aware of. Go ahead and read. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Verse 6. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. So you might have people that's around you who act like your friend, smile in your face, you know, say, oh, you know, I got love for you, whoop de whoop or, or whatever the case may be. But their actions are showing something totally different. They don't support you when you have an idea. They always talk negative. They might shoot something down or, you know, they might not be on these scriptures, you know, like. We have to look out these things. And then when you have somebody who can be honest with you, brutally honest with you, regardless on how it might make you feel, be like, look, brother, you was out of pocket. Or look, brother, this is what you should do. And this is why those are your real friends, you know, not the friends who's trying to kiss you, but really stab you on your back. You know, you want those friends that's going to keep it a 100 with you, you know, no matter what, when or how, you know, you want that real love. You know, um, with that open rebuke. You was out of line, partner. Now look, whoa, whoa, whoa. those are your real friends. Um, okay. Okay. Um, uh, First John, chapter four, verse seven through ten. Right. And we back on love. First John, chapter four, verse seven. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of a higher. And everyone that loveth is born of a higher, and knoweth a higher. He that loveth not, or uh, knoweth not a higher, for a higher is love. Boom. So if you are walking in true love, you are of the Most High. Sure. That That's powerful. So just be honest. Be honest with your lover. You know, friends, brother, including your enemy. You know, this is important. This is salvation. You know, you might have all the knowledge in the world. You, you might know what happened before 70 AD and, and, you know, how we come to Hebrews. But if you are not practicing love, you are not of a higher, thus saith the word. Mm -hmm. You know, now we're going to skip down to 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. Uh, you want me to get 9 and 10 real quick? Yep, yep. All right, yeah, uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. In this was manifested the love of a higher towards us, because that a higher sent uh, his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we love the higher, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the appropriation of our sins. Mm -hmm. I mean, for our sins. Salaki. That was well. All right, that was uh, verse 10. Okay. Read 20. Verse 20. All right, verse 20. First John chapter 4, verse 20. If a man say, I love a higher and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love a higher whom he has not seen? Now that is a huge, that should let you know who is of a higher and who is not. Because in, within the same book, it says, love your enemies. If your enemy tells you to walk one mile with him, you walk two miles with him. Oh. So for the brothers that's out there um, are preaching division, separation, feel like they can't come together and love on their brethren, whether their brethren is wrong or right, you know, that's, that's division. That's not of a higher. How can you love something that you don't see, but you got your brother in front of you who needs your very love, but you refuse to give him love. You know, so that's that's a huge thing. Yeah. A big part of salvation. Love your brother. Because if you don't love your brother, how can you possibly love the Most High who you never seen before? You know, um, four, okay, five. And now we're going to council, which is Proverbs 11 and 14. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So, read that again for me. 
Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So, if you don't have no counseling, you are guaranteed nine times out of ten you will fall. You know, so it's important to pray that the Most High brings people into your life that will righteously love you, love you without dissimulation, mm. you know, and counsel on to you and openly rebuke you, you know, when you are wrong, you know, and then also admonish you for when you are right. You know, these things are important, you know. Find you a group of people who will support what you do. If whatever idea you have is not against the laws of the Most High, you should be getting supported. You know, if you can use that for the Most High and help deliver his people, then it should be getting supported. Those that's around you is supposed to positively support you. You know, if you don't have those people around you, you know, then you are in a very dangerous situation, including people who claim they're on the truth. If they're not supporting you or bringing positive things into your life, uplifting you, you shall um, separate yourself around them, from them, and, you know, pray for ones that can't love you. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Five, six. Let's go to Psalms. Psalm, chapter one. Psalms chapter one. Psalms chapter one, verse one. And this is things to be aware of. Come on. Psalms chapter 1 verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. But are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. That's that says a lot, you yeah. know. That that alone says a lot. We ain't supposed to be in the way of the ungodly. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it goes back to who you got around you, your counseling. Um, uh, that was Psalms, um, chapter one, verses one through six. Correct, correct. Psalms one, one through six. You know. You start from the top and we read the first two two scriptures for okay. us again. Read that again cause that could, because that's beautiful. That was just exactly what I was saying. It was just spot on. Okay. You know, so let read that. Psalms chapter 1 verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. So if you meet somebody, I don't care what camp they come from. If you meet somebody that claims they love this, you should be gravitated towards them. Trying to test the spirit, trying to pick their mind to see if you guys are like minded spirits. You know, mm -hmm. if you guys follow the fruits of the spirit, if you guys uphold the law, statutes and commandments, and then you guys should counsel on to each other, you know, love and vibrate off of one of another. I don't care if you come from I U S P K G O C C I it doesn't matter. We are the camp of the most high. We should not be talking about division. You know what I'm saying? We should be operating in this spirit. You know, no matter what. You know what I mean? And separate ourselves from those who are showing the opposite of the fruits of the spirit. Because whoever shows the opposite or rejecting the fruits of the Spirit on how to walk, on how to love one another, they don't need to be around, you know? Okay. Um, you want me to finish that, verse 2? Um, no, it's okay. Okay. Let's go to 8, um, which is counsel, which is Psalms 37 and 30. Uh, well, well, wait, wait, no, 7, excuse me. Back to love. Um, so it's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 7. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 13, 
verse 4 through 7. Yeah. All right. It reads, Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity, charity vaunted not itself, is not puffed up. Doeth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Boom. Boom. Charity. And charity is big. Charity, that's another word for love. Come. You know, charity, that's a spirit. You know, we should be patient. We should be kind. You know, long suffering, meaning, you know, we have to get the discernment and learn how to tell from the two. Meaning, we have to be able to know when there's a brother struggling within the word, if there's a brother rejecting the word. And sometimes that takes time to, you know, decipher. But if a brother is struggling and he needs help, we need to be long suffering with him, plead with one another. Counsel onto one another, but if a brother is rejecting the word, fighting against correct, excuse me, Salaki, fighting against correction, then you know we have to openly rebuke and remove ourselves from that situation. You know, but you know what I mean. Um, go ahead and read that again for me, um, Salaki. So First Corinthians thirteen and five: mm -hmm. Doeth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own. Mm -hmm. Is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Off top. Beareth all things, believeth all things, mm -hmm. hopeth all things, mm -hmm. endureth all things. And that speaks for itself, y'all. Charity is love. You know, that scripture alone, we, we shall be practicing that, you know, with all mankind. Unless they are just bucking against the word of the Most High and they have an evil spirit, by all means, separate yourself. Get away, you know. But otherwise than that, this is our duty. These are um, uh, directions. And, um, you know, that's, that's a, this is a real beautiful scripture too, man, because it just shows that uh, when there is uh, anything that's pushing against the truth or against uh, the family structure, when I say family structure, I don't just mean within your house. I'm talking about Yasharala or the children of Israel itself. You know, we got to give them the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? Um, so when I see it say things like, uh, Rejoice it not in iniquity, but rejoice it in truth. Bear it all things, like, you know, believe it all things, hope it all things, endure it all things. We got to give the benefit of the doubt. And just by doing that, we showing love to one another. So, it's a powerful scripture. Yeah. So, um, next what we got here? Mm -hmm. Psalms thirty-seven. Yes, yes, very powerful. Love is important, y'all. You know, I get a lot of Hebrews that when you read these scriptures to them. Certain Hebrews might get turned off because they don't want to be um, uh, categorized like as a Christian or or whatnot. But what we have to learn how to do is bring it all together because every lie has a bit of truth to it, you know. So um, uh, what separates us from the religion Christianity would be following the commandments. You know, because the whole duty of man at the end of the day is to follow the commandments. And every last single scripture we are showing you is part of the commandments. Uh -huh. This is a key to salvation. So we shouldn't be worried about who we look like. Nah, we should be worried about to impress the most high, not impress one another, try to look hard on the corners and, you know, go out. That's all fine and dandy and all, but love is very important. Uh -huh. You know, counseling to one another is very important. You know, being a watchman and being aware of your surroundings and who you deal with, very important. You know, um, so where are we? Seven going to eight. Let's go to Psalms 37 and 30. All right. Um, Psalms chapter 37, verse 30. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue taught the, talketh of judgment. Keep going. Boom. Yep, yep. Go ahead and keep going. Uh, the law of his power is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Whew. 
Read that from the top again. All right. <laughs> the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talk, talketh, talketh of judgment. Mm -hmm. The law of his power is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Read the next one. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. Keep reading. The law of Salakia. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Boom. So that's something to be aware of. Once again, there goes that love without dissimulation, because that's what the wicked is doing. The wicked will love you for his own occasion. And then mm -hmm. after his own occasion is done with, he'll come behind you back and stab you, bite you, you know, find some, some type of way to destroy you, ultimately. You know what I'm saying? So it's important. It's important to be righteous. Move in righteous. Shalom. Move in righteousness. Keep these laws, statutes, and commandments next to us. Because the Most High is our power. He is our strength. You know? And then when you have brothers and sisters that's around you, that's on the same height or tip, you're even more powerful. You're even more strong. You know? So all praises to the Most High. All praises. Philippians, right? Uh, not yet. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 and 9. Alright. So Philippians chapter 4. Correct. Correct. Strength in numbers. Uh, let me see. Uh, chapter 4, verse 9, you said? Yep. Philippians. Uh, four verse four, 4 through 9. Okay. Yep. Philippians Check. chapter 4, verse 4. And it reads. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Um, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto a higher. And the peace of a higher, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ your shop. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, uh, salakia, are of good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Oh. What's so, up? Woo! That That's goes a back to awareness. We're going to have to go back from the top on that. Though. That's a powerful. Yes, yes, yes. It's very strong. Very I'm a, strong. I'm a, uh, you want to break it down? or, or? I'll, I'll definitely touch okay. on it. You want me to get from verse 8 or before? Yes, yes. I'm a, from, yep, from verse 8. All right. It reads, uh, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest. Hold on. So like, I apologize, y'all. Mm -hmm. Go back to, um, let me see. Hold on. Where were we at? Real okay, quick. Start from here. Okay. Four and four, okay. Rejoice in the Lord always. Should be known to all men. You can start from the top. All right. Okay. Philippians chapter four, verse four. Mm -hmm. Rejoice in the Lord always. Mm -hmm. And again, I say rejoice. Yes. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Yes. And that's, that's powerful right there, mm -hmm. man, because it just lets you know that, uh, you know, we we are supposed to have some some uh discipline about ourselves, you know what I mean? That's right. That's our moderation. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but yes. in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Yes. Let your request be known or uh, be made known unto a higher. Right? Mm -hmm. Um and that that remind me of uh the scripture where it say um uh, perfect love has no fear, I believe. I, I, I might be butchering a little bit, but it's to that point, right? Um, verse 7. You're about right, because we actually finna touch on that, too. Come um, And the peace of higher which passeth all understanding. That's a big one, too, because <laughs> like what you was mentioning with, uh, you know, getting into all kind of stuff, genealogies and all mm -hmm. these, you know, glittery topics, you know what I'm saying? When we can't really lock down on love, that, you know, it means nothing. It's vanity, y'all. It's vanity. You got Hebrews trying to figure out who Esau, who this, who that. Oh, white man, the devil. Ooh. And you, man, you don't know nothing about that man bloodline. Mm. You barely even know about your own bloodline. Can't certify. So, thank you. So, let's focus on the spirit. Let's focus on how we walk. 
You feel me? Let's focus on how we communicate with one another. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And then let Christ, the Messiah, come back and settle all of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that extra is just good stuff to know. But we have to perfect ourselves as people first. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And then not only perfect ourselves as people, but perfect ourselves on how we deal with one another. We got too much issues as it is already to be over there stirring up who devil and who not. Because half these black faces that's rolling around might be Esau. And you never know. Uh-huh. I'm just putting it out there. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So the whole duty of man is to fear the Most High and keep His commandments and love your brethren. Uh-huh. You know, so... Yeah, you know, and um, just just touching on it, man. That that love, man. The love is um, as simple as it sounds. That's that's me, because like like I brought out earlier, you know, how could you say you love the Most High but you can't even love the brother right in front of you? And those are the curses of the Hebrews, man. So like, you know, it's a big deal. Verse seven, it reads, "And the peace of a higher, the peace of a higher is love." If you could show that, then you you know, it says here. This Philippians 4 and 7, and the peace of Ahia, which passeth all understanding. <laughs> that's how much meat that is. It's, that's <laughs> like the biggest thing you can understand or learn is how to love. So, you know, I mean, anybody that speak against that, you know, you're speaking against the Father in, in, in its purest form. That's real you know? talk. But um, we're going to go to Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. Uh, you want me to finish, finish that, that out, right? Yep, yep. Go, go ahead and finish that off first. All right. Um, and the, uh, Philippians 4 and 7, And the peace of Ahia which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through your shy Christ. It says, uh, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things uh, are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Um, I just want to say something on that, man, because this right here is a very meaty thing. And when I say that, that's meat because it's letting you know that no matter what you see in somebody, we should always look for the good in them. You know what I mean? And that's a uh, that's a very powerful, powerful uh, scripture right there. Verse 9, it says, Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and a higher of peace shall be with you. Hmm. Uh-huh. That's real talk. So we're going to go to Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. Galatians. That was a powerful one right there. I yes. like verse 8. Uh-huh. Back to love too, man. This is... Love, counsel, awareness. You know. You said Galatians six and two. Mm-hmm. All right. Galatians chapter six, verse two. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of your shop. That's very important, y'all. That's very, very important. Uh-huh. We should be dealing with each other long suffering. You know, bear our brother's burdens. You know, pray for him. You know, help him get through his struggle. You know, that's important. We need we need one another. That, that's the reason why the Most High is putting this in there for us, man. Come you on. know, because we need to be uplifting each other, especially within these times Come that's coming. Um, Proverbs. Next, Council Proverbs chapter 12, yes. verse 15 through 18. All right, Proverbs chapter 12. Uh... Some beautiful scriptures, man. I like that Philippians, man. Thank you, brother. Uh, I gotta get that I'm one. Praise the Most High. That's a good one. <laughs> um, who we got here? Proverbs chapter twelve, verse fifteen through uh, eighteen. Proverbs chapter twelve, verse fifteen. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Stop right there. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Mm-hmm. Let that marinate for a while, y'all. Yeah. You know. I stopped him right there because I kind of wanted to put this in there is never be so for sure of yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're not walking in this way, you're not keeping the commandments, never be so for sure in yourself. You know, that'll be the wise thing not to do is be so for sure of yourself. 
Go ahead, Les. Because you don't know what you ought to know. Uh, but go ahead. Um, Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covereth his shame. He that seek uh, salaki, he that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. Boom. Oh, keep going. Mm-hmm. Verse 18. 18. Yeah. There is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. Boom. So the wicked is going to say stuff to you that might be very, very offensive. You know, cursing and just say stuff just to poke at you. You know what I mean? But the words of the wise man is going to be up to uplift you. It's going to be for your betterment. It's going to be for your righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Mm. To to help perfect you as a person. So all the brothers and sisters out there, we have to be sure that things that's coming out, that's coming from our mouths is of health. And that's meant to uplift our brothers or sisters. Mm. You know? Um, we can go to James chapter 1 through 22. All right. We're in James chapter 1, verse 22. Um, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Salaki, so deceiving your own selves. Say that one more time from the top. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So as soon as we see something in the scriptures and it tells us to do a certain thing, to be a certain way, I don't care if it's little, we should not ignore it. We mm. should hop on it and do it immediately. Okay? Immediately. We can't just be hearers of the word. We have to be doers of the word. You know, so that's very, very, very crucially important, something to be aware of. Make sure everything that you are reading in this book, you are applying to your day to day life. You know, uh, I got a scripture to uh, line up with that. Go ahead, quick. please. Please. This is uh, Romans 2 and 13. And it reads, um, and this is supporting exactly what I is saying. Uh, Romans 2 and 13, it says, for not the hearers of the law are just before a higher, but the doers of the law shall be justified. So like I was saying, it's not, you know, you hear the word, you know, uh, we was talking about it early on the phone. Um, uh, understanding knowledge and wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Or knowledge, understanding and wisdom, you know, the knowing and then the application of what you know equals wisdom, you know. That's right. So you got to be you got to be able to do what you hear, you know, apply it, you know, so it's a powerful one, man. That's real. Um, Chapter 13, I mean, excuse me, it's like y'all, 1 Peter chapter 4 through 8, I mean, 4, verse 8. All right, 1 Peter 4 and 8. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Back to love, y'all. It's like it. All right. First Peter chapter four, verse eight. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Stop. Love is going. <laughs> Love is going to cover the multitude of sins. Charity given, you know, being long suffering, you know, being of help to your brethren. That is a covering of sins alone, y'all. Hey, all praises to the Most High. Mm. You know, so perfect your love game. You hear me? <laughs> perfect your love game. That's all you got to do is perfect your love game. Follow these commandments. That is the whole duty of man. Mm. You hear me? That is the. That's what all of this means at the bottom line. Who's Hebrew? Who's Gentile? Um, um. When is he coming back? Where we flee to? All of that. It all buckles down to us keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High and loving 
mm-hmm. in charity. All right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. You know, it's challenging, but it's not grievous. Yeah. Okay? Um, let's go to 14, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. All right. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And this is something to look for when you are getting counseling for your brother from your brothers and sisters or giving counseling from your brothers and sisters. Right. To your brothers and sisters. Lucky. But go ahead. 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. Hmm. Keep going. Let me see. Might as well, yeah. Start from the top and then, and then go and read the second scripture because that's a good one too. Okay. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. Mm-hmm. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. Stop right there. Now, evil communication corrupts good manners. Mm-hmm. We all know what that means. If your word is corrupt, you know, you saying some stuff you ain't got no business saying, you know, whoever you saying it to ain't going to have no manners. And by you saying that, you just ruin and corrupt your manners. So we must definitely be watchful on how we communicate and make sure our communication is not evil and it is not boastful and it's not about lying and mischievous and et cetera, et cetera. You know, we have to keep the things that we say on point and on a righteous level. But go ahead and read that next scripture, 34. All right. Um, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of a higher. I speak this to your shame. Keep going. No, that's no. good. That no. says a lot. You know, um, 14, boom, boom. that was 14. Was no. that 15, 13? Yeah. No. Now we're going to go to 15. Proverbs 28. And 26. Yep. Proverbs 28 and 26. Here we go. All right. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 26. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. Hmm. Hmm. Say that again, please. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. Hmm. Walk wisely. Do not trust your own heart. Hmm. You know, Listen and take heed to counsel. I'm giving you an example. If you got a brother or a sister, you know, who hasn't shown you no malice, hasn't lied upon you or done anything wrong, you know, and their fruits are good fruits, you know. Uh-oh. 